Once we got in there, you could hear him gasping for air. As I crawled in, we found that there were mattresses stacked up to the windowsill. The individual who was on the phone with the 911 dispatcher had made his way to the front exit of the room into a hallway, but there was so much garbage, debris, clothing, um, he wasn't able to get out. And that's a difficult thing to try to explain to somebody that their living conditions could have contributed to their demise. It takes place in all areas of our community. It's a small, small thing and it just expands. You know, you come home from work, you lay your shoes here, your book bag's here, the mail's here, you know, uh, we'll get to it next tomorrow or the next day and stuff piles up. If hoarding is an issue for you or a loved one, learn about resources available at safeandsanitaryhomes.org.